Okay, so this is the thing that I'm actually the most excited about for this enclosure. Finally using a Mist King. So, I'm gonna really try and turn this enclosure into a jungle with a good cycle. We got all the bits and bobs. I got the bucket to hook it up to. Lots of tubing and the programmable timer. I'll probably end up with like probably two or three of these systems in total because I, I was going to build all new enclosures as, as I told you guys. But I think I'm actually going to buy vision cages for my forefoots. And I might also buy a vision cage for the six foot. It's simpler for me and I won't nitpick all my own stuff constantly so that's what i'm gonna do i'm going to install mist kings in all of them to make the whole reptile room run much much smoother Alrighty, so this is the set up enclosure you can see there's some water droplets on the front that's because i did go ahead and get the mist king set up it's right over there it's got the tube running up and in and wrapping up around the top and around back there but yeah, uh, Tegu is right there. Hi there, bud. I love seeing him in this naturalistic environment. It's so cool. But yeah, so I'm hoping that I can get these plants to kind of come back. Both of them didn't have the natural lighting or a lot of water because they were just kind of behind stuff in their pots. <clears throat> So I put them in here, put them under a grow light, and they're now getting water once a day. I have it set to spray about half an hour after his lights come on in the morning, and it sprays for, I don't know, maybe like two minutes, I think is what it's set on. But yeah, so his enclosure is definitely not done. Uh, I think as I said in the last video, when his outdoor enclosure is finished and he's outside all summer, I'm going to... Uh, be wrapping his enclosure in a universal rocks background and getting some universal rocks decor like gonna replace those paving stones because those are gonna go outside in his enclosure i'm gonna replace those in here with uh one of the boulders from universal rocks we're gonna bask on and get a naturalistic rock water dish over there for him update on how the enclosure has been doing it's actually been doing really well uh, I haven't had any leaks, uh, I haven't had any issues with it molding or rotting, it's been a couple of months since it's been done, and he seems to really be enjoying it, I mean, as often as he is exploring it, that is. Hey, bud. I love this guy. Yeah, he's so cool to watch just wander around here. The couple of times that he's actually awake um, and going and basking, getting water, swimming, whatever he does. It's so much fun. I'm so glad that he's in this uh, nice permanent enclosure. Because, I don't know about you guys, watching my animals interact with their environment is one of the most rewarding parts about keeping them for me. He's gonna lay down there and probably take a nap while he basks. He's a beautiful animal, too. But, yeah, I just love coming down here and watching them wander around. And he is more rewarding than any of them because he, you can really see how intelligent he is. He is probably my favorite animal in my collection. But yeah, so that is going to do it for today's video. I know that today was a shorter video. Sorry about that. I have so much going on today. I didn't have a whole lot of time to film, unfortunately. But I still hope you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to give you guys an update on how the Tegu's enclosure is doing. Uh, the only thing I really have to add to it, which I'm not going to until I do the Universal Rock stuff because it'll be pointless, is I need to add Springtails and Isopods. But if I were to add that now, then those would just be gotten rid of in a few months when his enclosure is refurbished on the inside because I'd have to pull all the substrate out and redo it anyway. 
But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, uh, click the dislike button. Tell me how I can improve in the future. Or I guess the dislike button doesn't actually really do anything anymore. Huh. Just leave a comment telling me how I can improve in the future. Uh, in the links below, you're going to find a link to my Patreon, a link to the Discord server, and a link to US Arc. There's some new law changes coming in places like North Carolina trying to outlaw uh, big constrictors and tegus. Uh, don't out, don't outlaw this dude. He's amazing. I love him. <laughs> yeah, so you can go uh, sign up to support US Arc. I'm sure it means a lot to them, every single person that signs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, YouTube.